What's up guys, my name is James, I'm the proud owner of Rumor Mill Espresso. We are a mobile coffee service that also does independent barista trainings and we would like to let you know how to start your own mobile coffee trailer. So I started this business uh, with nothing but a, a small trailer, a, a self-made coffee cart and an online coffee machine. And we started out doing one market a month, we're now up to eight permanent days each month at markets and events. We trade at three different markets uh, throughout Brisbane and they're all kind of different sizes so we have our, our big market two Saturdays a month. We always have a really solid group of regulars that come through. They're out early and coffee is such a ritual in Australia that everyone wants that that morning coffee when they first go out. Uh, that's our main sort of trade where we'll do anywhere between five and eight hundred coffees there. So it's really full on, it's myself and, and two other people and we smash our coffees for the morning. It's taken a long time to get to that sort of trade. People need to know that you're gonna be there every week, that you're gonna have a consistent product every week. So if you are thinking about starting your own mobile coffee service, one thing you need to think about is location. Where are you gonna trade? Where are you gonna get that main sort of revenue coming in from? So last year we were trading six to seven days per week. It's a lot of work. You really need some, uh, some time just to actually appreciate what you're doing and enjoy what you're doing. There are so many elements that go into making a successful coffee trailer. The trailer itself is just one aspect. You're the other aspect and the product is the other aspect too. So if you're operating Monday to Friday, one of the things you need to think about is location. Where are you going to set up? Where are your baseline customers going to come from? If you're setting up somewhere for a day, you need to do at, at minimum 50 coffees as sort of like a baseline level. Once you hit that 100 coffee a day mark, that's when you're really in a stride and you'll start seeing some good return for your time and your investment. But if you're trying to decide somewhere to set up Monday to Friday or a semi-permanent sort of location, you need to think, where are my customers going to come from? Is there good walk-by traffic? Is there good drive-by traffic? So things to think about would be, is there a community around where you want to set up? Are there gyms around? Is there an off-leash dog park? Are there office buildings? Is there public transport close by? One of the best ways to grow your customer base from a location-based industry is through word of mouth. That person goes back to the office and they tell their colleagues, hey, I've just got a really good coffee around the corner of this new coffee trailer. Or people that go to the gym, they walk into the gym with a coffee and they say, oh, hey, where'd you get that from? And then word of mouth is so much more powerful than Instagram and Facebook advertising. So you need to make sure that you have that baseline level of community going before you go throwing lots of money into your social media advertising and digital marketing. Another really important factor to think about is your coffee selection. So when you're choosing a coffee, it needs to be something that you really enjoy yourself, that you can drink every single day. And if you don't drink coffee, then what are you doing? But essentially something that you can drink every single day that your customers are really gonna enjoy as well. If people get a bad product, they might come back once, but they're not gonna come back twice, okay? So every product that needs to go out needs to have that sort of quality assurance around it. There's a varying scale when it comes to coffees between the cheap and expensive. If you go for the dirt cheap stuff, your customers are going to taste that. If they can pay an extra 50 cents and go to the coffee shop next door and get a better quality coffee, then they're going to do that. So half the battle is finding that middle ground between affordability and what tastes really, really good as well. When it comes to your equipment, some coffee companies will give you on loan equipment or otherwise you might be inclined to lease or to buy your equipment. Okay, uh, coffee machines can start anywhere from a few thousand dollars all the way up to the 20 grand mark. There's such a varying scale when it comes to buying a coffee machine. The last thing that I'm gonna to mention today is branding. So there's an awesome Gary Vee quote where he says, sales are why people buy shoes, brand is why people buy Nike. Okay, so what sets you out apart from all the other coffee shops or the coffee trailers that are out there at the moment, what are you gonna do that's different? When you're thinking about your brand, you're thinking about all of your aesthetics, your logo, who are you catering to? What sort of quality of product are you gonna have? All of these things interact with each other to create what your brand is. So it's important to start thinking about it at the start because it's not gonna be something that you get 
six months or a year into the situation go, oh, now it's time to build my brand. And then eventually you become recognized by your brand more than you do by your product. Guys, that's it from me today. So if you'd like to hear more tips about how to start your own coffee trailer business, turn it from a side hustle into a full-time gig, or just get into the market, then please hit that like button, subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you all soon.